Nervously, I glance at her print out. If you succumb to terrifying physical and mental states, allow your body to fall limp and wish for the best. Finally, something about burning like sulfur. Uh, I, hastily, I bid farewell to the uh, visiting Southeris and her. Uh, and my housemates, yeah. Bound down the stairs toward the beach. There's so much space. So few houses. Nature totally dominates. There's that little insect with a few shocks around. It's huge, gorgeous, pristine. Almost prehistoric scene here, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah, 19... 71, 72, winter scene, and Junibia. The curtain rises on Flip Out Theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, on the beach, Eddie and Valerie uh, masterfully uh, do nothing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, six Shade, Palm Grove. Uh, Johanna, the creeping closer death trip babe slowly walks up to them and uh, wary of being displaced uh, Valerie warns that Johanna's uh, ambitious oh yeah that one she wants you all to her for herself you see she dresses just how I dress how I style my hair then she the way I speak and then Eddie listen to me she is so Fucking stupid. Oh, well, next comes Australian Jenny. Uh, she's totally spooked by the India-Pakistan war going on. The bomber runs. In her imagination. Over Goa. And the security blackout on Anjuna Beach. I mean, how, how, how can we deal with that? Well, Eddie reminds her... Uh, the war action is mostly in Kashmir and East uh, Pakistan. And uh, you know what? There's no electricity on Anjuna Beach anyway. Uh, there's actually nothing to black out in that regard. Uh, uh, Jenny sighs in relief, you know. You know, Eddie, you remind me very much of my sister's husband. Oh, I was so in love with him before she got her hands on him. She glares at Valerie, making a uh, cat scratching motions before Valerie's eyes. I hated her for that. Oops. Whew, what was that all about? Um, enter Mighty Vios, the newest actor in the room. Yeah, he's traveled down from Delhi after being traumatized by real <laughs> bomber, <laughs> blacked out Crown Hotel <laughs> attacks from real Pakistani <laughs> airplanes. Yeah, uh, and he obsessively uh, rearranges the lava stone blocks in the courtyard to make celestial improvements in the ruins. Yeah. Oh. He, is. He, he sees a phantom face in the entrance to the compound. Yeah, it's floating right there. <sighs> well, Harry's back to his old ways, yeah. Hanging out with the junkies in the crumbling back room of the ruins, yeah. Uh, Monique merges from the palm trees. Uh, Monique abandoned her former boyfriend to mate with uh, Harry and get a fix of heroin. Ah, uh, Eddie motions to uh, his director, Valerie. Uh, who, who, who's Mona? Oh, Mona, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm the only one that can bring her back to life after she overdoses, uh, overdoses on heroin. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's Mona. Okay. Uh, oh, Jenny comes up from the beach. Uh, oh, what's up, Jenny? 
Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Again, it's a cat scratching uh, uh, motions in front of Valerie's eyes. Uh, her rival. Valerie, you know, Valerie, she's... <laughs> She's a well-seasoned performance artist. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. She does not blink until Jenny finally frowns. And, uh, as if remembering something, hurries off toward Joe Bananas. What was that all about? Well, okay. Macabre uh, Villas announces dramatically uh, Eddie Soon the time will come to crack the coconut. <laughs> oh, well, Eddie astutely assumes that uh, Vios wants to crack his head open. <laughs> Remember that call, Freak Hell? Death. <laughs> From the people who's freeing rice and veggies too. Oatmeal and fruit, salad in the morning. Rice and veggies in the evening. Mm -hmm. well, he wanted, he's got to cook the vegetables. This week. Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, Cindy bursts into the ruins. She's out of breath. She announced that Jenny has jumped into the well and that a nimble going boy uh, had to climb down inside the well and wrap a rope around her waist. The neighbors have just pulled her up, and she's lying on the porch of the house next to the well, all pleading for you. Well, Eddie walks to the neighboring house. Is there much pain, Jenny? Eddie asks, worried. Hey, now that you've come. There is no pain. <laughs> well, um, yeah, um, uh, water's still bubbling out of her mouth. Um, let's see. Uh, Pierre, one of the junkies in the house, uh, uh, he starts throwing pots and pans around the kitchen, and uh, he hurls the small kerosene stove out the window. Uh, Pierre is freaking out. That bastard Vias goes through all our bags. Yeah, Vias takes what he wants and throws the rest around. Okay? Eddie? You hearing that? Huh? 